Gentlemen, this is a delicate proposition. I don't like violence, Tony. I'm a businessman. Of course. Of course, it's something we all agree on, correct? We need a time frame if we're gonna go through with this. Within the next 24 hours. Everything's in place? Yeah, of course. We got... Hey, Dad. I'll talk to you for a second. Jack, I don't want to have this conversation again. Hey, all right? just give me a chance. No. You're going to like my no. ideas. Honest no. Jeez. Dad. What? Don't ignore me on this one. Oh, mate. Listen. No. No, 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 no. Oh, OK, all right. Shoot. Easter's coming up, right? So I was thinking, what about an Easter egg hunt? Only instead of Easter eggs. People hunt pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's genius, right? Or Monty, right? Oh, Jack, it's an awful idea. As your marketing manager. Oh, oh, hang on, no, we've talked about this before. I let you run the Facebook page. It doesn't make you the marketing manager. Dad, Dad, Dad you've got to start letting me take some responsibility here. I'm going to manage this place, aren't I? You want to manage a broke club with a bunch of over-the-hill strippers. Shit. Sorry, Gloria. Mm, I've heard worse. My chef's over. Right. And how do you feel about bloody years, Gloria? Tapped. You're supposed to be making up with tips anyway. New girls out back, by the way. We got a new girl. No, I've got a new girl. What's she like? Have a good night, boys. I got more ideas. Ah, oh, you got ideas, huh? All right. Well, take him to uni. Go study. Do something with your life. <laughs> Dad, come on. Oh, you're gonna love. Oh, come on, mate. You're gonna love. Look, okay. First off, what about a student night? <laughs> a student night? Yeah, and we'll have cheap drinks. That's sort what of <laughs> Uh, pass. Pass? Mm. Oh, I already had these, mate. Students, I love them. Students don't have any money, Jack. That's not true. It's true. Roger, stay out of it, alright? I've already had a whole crate of them made up. What do you, what do you want me to do? Oh, Dad. You know, those guys are back, right? They're in the girls' toilets. All right, you, you are going to uni, all right? End of story. It's a great opportunity. It's an opportunity I wish I'd had growing up. Those blokes are trouble. I tell you, if I were 40 years younger, I'll have the money next week, it's coming. Make sure you do, little girl. Yeah. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> what is it then? Get out of here. Am I fine? That's the way I told you guys. I don't want that stuff in here. Stuff? What stuff? The stuff that's in your hand, mate. Just get out of here. I call the cops. No, you both know you don't want to do that. Dad, 
Dad. And on the mood, Jack. No, no, Dad, that new girl. That is one hot piece of ass. We like to play games. I like to play games too. What did he do? When the label says dry clean only, it means dry clean only. Are you gorgeous by the moonlight? Really? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm not very good with the flowery prose. Yes, you are. So, Jack really doesn't want to study engineering? He wants to manage the club. He's his father's son. He's stubborn as a mule. Yeah, well... The right way going, there's not going to be a club for him to manage anyway. Is it that bad? I oh, no, there's... There's no customers. I can't even afford to fix the roof. It leaks like a sieve. I've got drug dealers coming in. Selling to the girls. Things will turn around. No. No, they won't turn around. Things are fucked. I'm sorry, I just... I, I, I don't know how to... It's okay. I just wish I could find a way to make it all better. Hey, Roger. You think I could run this place, all right? Kid. Have you ever seen my hemorrhoids? Exactly. Don't involve me in private business. Hey, I'm just finishing up. Anything else you need? No, no, I'm good. Very good. Um, sorry, what was your name again? I'm Tiffany. You must be Jack, right? Yeah, I'll be here. Hey, you're doing really great in there. I'm the marketing manager. You're the marketing manager? Well, we're in a transitional phase. You're really good. At tending bar? Well, yeah, I mean, you ever consider following our other avenue of employment? Put eight years of ballet training to work. Ballet? Classy. So, what makes a classy lady like you want to pursue this kind of vocation anyway? Girl's got to make a living. Wiping down tables sure beats getting into its own. <laughs> Wait, Tiffany? Yeah? Um, maybe we could, uh, like... Oh, no, shit. Go like yourself in your car. Hey there, little girl. Where do you think you're going? Get oh, your no, 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 stick around. Oh, 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 did you see that? Oh, you feel that? <laughs> 
Your son has suffered a severe and sustained beating. He has a lot of minor cuts and bruises, and he has several shallow flesh wounds on his abdomen. You know, frankly, he's fortunate the injuries weren't worse. Fortunate? You think my son's fortunate? Well, under the circumstances, it didn't mean it. And if we see any sign of hemorrhaging, well, we'll see how we go. Just sit here drinking all night. Oh, I can give it a good try, though. Come on. Max, you need to slow down. I need to what, man? I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what the fuck to do, and you won't even help. That's not fair. Man. You know people. You know people who can sort this whole mess out, but you won't even pick up the phone to help your son. I'm not going back, Max. I'm never going back. That was a different lifetime. All right. Well, then I'm taking my new friend out for a walk. And we're going to have a talk. Still in one piece. I just came to see if you're okay. I'm better than okay. You know, give me jelly three times a day. It's better <laughs> than home. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I was wanting to ask. You know, before the. Uh, oh, oh, hey, boss. I was just on my own. No, no, it's okay. I was just leaving. Stay safe. Thanks, Dad. Sorry. Didn't mean to uh, cramp your style. Nice cow, by the way. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Listen, Jack, I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. I just, uh... And this is why I don't want you involved in this sort of stuff, you know? I don't want my son going up to to manage some sleazy strip joint getting older and broken and watching his life slip by. Dad, no, you can do better than that. You can actually be something. He needs to clear the club, you know, just... just until, you know... Come on, Dad, seriously. <laughs> Manners. 
This man is our guest. Hello, Max. There's no need to get up on my account, please. Make yourself comfortable. I hear you're a young one. Gonna run in with some of my boys. They kicked the shit out of him. It's more accurate. Boys will be boys. They're dealing drugs in my club. What I need is for What you to need to do, Max, is take a friendly word of advice. I'm a businessman. I own half this city. I just bought a theater to put on my own cabaret performances. And you know why I did that, Max? Because life is a cabaret, Max. And I love the cabaret. Now, you're a businessman, for want of a better word. So you should understand my position. The understanding is I pay you money, and you don't trash my club. And have we? I don't have to let you sell drugs in there. Do not fuck with me. It's really not in your best interests. Fuck you, Loki. You haven't got the stones, you limp dick motherfucker. How's your wife? <laughs> I'm bored. Show yourself out. What is it? You know I love you, right? Do you love me? Yeah, I do, but why? Then help me. Lana, please. I am begging you, I am in deep shit here. Max, I can't. things working out with a young one. Jack, he's fine. Oh, I know he is. Do you want to talk about him? Can't two women talk about anything else other than a man? In a strip club? I gotta go. That girl's got issues. And that's why I left the Peace Corps, Max. You know, they say that the tropics are really good for your... Max. Shit, sorry, Roger. Hello, Max. I thought it was high time that I really drove home my point. What do you want, Yogi? I just wanted a friendly chat. And I didn't want to turn up empty-handed, so I thought my boys could provide the entertainment. You do like to be entertained, don't you, Max? I think you need to leave. You're scaring the customers.
You want to knock over my furniture? And to break my pretty things? Well then, Max, I shall do the same for you. Are you listening to me, Max? Stand up when I'm talking to you. You're pathetic. Stand up. Stand up like a man when I am talking! Do I have your attention? Because you really need to listen to what I have to say. I'm altering the terms of our understanding. My boys come and go as they please. Yes? Yes! Are you fucking mute? Yes! Yes. Yes. Lovely. And you pay double now. Yes, that's right. You a double. No! Darling. I know that hurts. But if you're not quiet while the grown ups are talking, I shall really give you something to cry about. Just remember. You created all of this. I hope we've reached an understanding, man. Good day. Sir, throw the fucking thing. Clifford? No, he just left. I'm staying here. Hilarious. I'm Detective Fiorentino. What are you on? You're not filing assault charges. What's the point? You're in their pocket anyway, right? I'm in no one's pocket. But Yogi, he's a smart man. He pays his dues. Do you know what I mean? Dad doesn't pay his dues anymore, and that's a big mistake, Jack. A big mistake. What do you want me to do about it? Nothing. I just want you to think about that while you're lying here. Think how nice it would be if you had protection. That's <laughs> all. Have a nice night, Nick, kid. That's all. I'll do it. Mm. I'll make the call. This man is the worst there is. This man is deaf. Which one of you is Max? I'll tell you this much, it's not me. Then you must have a different name. Yeah. That's, uh, that's Roger. Um, Max, I guess. Did, um, did my wife call you? We need to talk. In private. Let's come to my office. <clears throat> this is the... 
<laughs> the office. <laughs> if you okay. So you need my help. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I mean, um, I, I, I do not come cheap. I can, uh, I can get the money. Um, I can remortgage uh, my house. Um, Where the money comes from, it's not my concern. No. Yeah. No. 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 Of course. Of course not. Um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Um. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm Max. Uh, by the way. Who do I kill? And uh, you, your name, your name is Carlos. Your name's Carlos. That's right. Who do I kill? Oh, uh, Carlos, I, I just, I just want to get rid of him. The I, best way to get rid of someone is to kill someone. Right. Perhaps you're having second thoughts. No, no, no. It's, it's just, um, you know, uh, killing someone. Uh, it, it's kind of new uh, for me, um, <clears throat> so I'm um, not, um, you know. If you don't want anyone killed, then I'm the wrong man for the job. Well, perhaps if, you know, I start off by explaining the, the situation. Lana explained it to me over the phone. I recommend killing the dealers. You don't kill the boss. That's who we send a message to. You can't send a message to a dead man. Yeah, no, no, I suppose you can't. Um, yeah, um, do you mind if I, I just think about it um, just for a bit, because... You pay me in cash up front. Uh, yeah, um, um, of course, um, but, uh, what about, um, up front? But, uh, what about? Did uh, anyone see that guy leave? Hello. I've come for dinner. Carlos. Good evening, Lana. I hope I'm not Interrupting. Uh, well, actually, uh... Please, come in. Beat Caesars. You will send a message for me. 
Tell this man, Yogi, that he's to leave my friend Max alone. Do you understand that? Never mind. I will send it myself. So what's the history there? What history? Between you two. Let's not get into that, all right? The past is the past. Fine. What? I'm just wondering what's happening, Frank. You're wondering what's happening? Yeah. You want to be more specific? You want me to be more specific? All right, specifics. Well, you got the case of the car exploding out the back of the strip club, right? And so far, you can't find a single bit of evidence. Kids. Kids. Sure. But then you also got Jack Clifford being told pulp out the back of the same club, and not a single bit of evidence on that one either. Kids not pressing charges. It's just that one would be forgiven for thinking the fancy new car you're driving around in may have something to do with a lack of evidence cropping up. But then, half the department seems to be driving around in new cars. It's interesting. Was there a pay rise memo that I didn't get? I mean, Jesus Christ, Frank, I know the glass ceiling's still alive and well, but this is beyond fucking pale. You IA cops, you're all the same. Looking to lay it on the rest of us, right? Have you seen this? Can you read? I'll read it for you. A passerby reports a loud explosion outside of local strip club, thigh high. Police report finding a burnt out card at the scene. Who did this? Well, I, I know it can't have been any of you guys. Because I sure as shit never told you to blow anything up! No, you. Yes, you, you fucking monkey. Go and find Scissors and his crew and find out what the fuck happened last night. Surrounded by fucking queers. Fuck. Fuck. 
some detective came for you. Oh, Said he wanted to ask you some questions about last night. You know, the big explosion and everything? Yeah. yeah right. I wrote his number down. It's in the office. What do you want? I was wondering if uh, you did private parties. Two grand for the night, 50% up front. Okay. What are you, from the 80s or something? No checks, cash only. When's the gig? I was wondering, um, it's nothing important. You're not busy, eh? No, no. What is it, Jeff? Well, I thought maybe you'd like to, I don't know, maybe go somewhere with me sometime. Like, on a date? Yeah, on a date or something. Well, I'm like you, be. Jack. I've just, I've got a lot going on right now. I've got to go. See ya. And who might you be, handsome stranger? It's not important. I'm a friend of Max Clifford's. Ah, oh, I see. I wish for the violence toward my friends to cease. Or else what? Or else things will be unpleasant. It's very direct. I like that. I didn't realize Max Clifford had such Impressive, persuasive friends. I'll bet you a golden egg that you know something about my missing friends. I'll take your advice into consideration. Find out who he is. Hello? Hello? Bought my good anal beads for nothing. <laughs> Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. Life is but a walking shadow, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. No applause? Shakespeare, you know. Cry havoc and let's slip the dog of war!
I would like to put on a show for you tonight. Would you like to see a show tonight? Well, it's not the sort of show that you came here for, but a work of great cultural import. You know, culture. It's the passion play. Now tonight, this is the exciting part. I shall be playing the role of Judas Iscariot. And you, dear Gloria, you shall be playing... Well, you see where I'm going with this. Ouch. Je ne pensais pas que je voudrais Une femme sur la croix Non, je ne l'imagine pas Une femme sur la croix C'est très, très bizarre C'est quoi Les gens des films Se s'y entranchent d'un point vrai Oh, oh, ma croix Qu'une femme sur la croix You know who did it? We gotta. I don't know, we gotta do something. I'm already doing something. What? The stripper was unfortunate. I did not anticipate this. Yeah, well, it's done now. So what's next? My work here is done. Are you fucking serious? Your work isn't done at all. Your work isn't halfway done. You paid me to kill, I killed. What should I do then? If I were you... Yes, yes, if you were me. Send another message. Send another fucking message? What are you, Australia Post? And how much is another message gonna cost me? I will do this one pro bono. I like it here. Mr. Clifford, Detective Fiorentino. Spoke on the phone yesterday. Oh. Uh, ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, um, hi. So, I wanted to meet with you to discuss the explosion the other day. But events seem to have kind of overtaken us. You know, 20 years ago, I... Friend of your father's? Yes. What's the laugh on me, Richard? All right. So you don't know one single thing about a huge explosion at the back of your club? You don't know a single thing about one of your oldest employees being crucified and left out on the street. And my colleagues tell me you're a month behind with the payments. Business has been bad. I can see that. Listen, we don't give a shit about business. You pay us for protection. Yeah, well, maybe I don't feel very protected right now. And maybe that's because you're behind by a month. The only person I need protection from is Yogi. You want to think very long, very hard about this, Max. The time for thinking is over. Now, why don't you get out of my club? Go file a report or something. You want to be really careful, Max. Things can get... Very dangerous without protection. I got protection. Don't worry about me.
Stupid thing is that. <laughs> I, um, wasn't spying on you. No. Really, I. You killed those guys? What guys are you talking about? Guys from the gang? Right there, you forced them in the garage wire with your car and you trapped one in a bear trap. Which car? How'd you do that? You must be more careful, Jack. There are dangerous people out there. It is not wise to follow strangers around. How do you know my dad? Your mother is an old friend of mine. I only met your father recently. I'm helping him with some problems. Yeah. yeah it looks like it. Take care, Jack. It was nice to meet you. Frank, hey. What? Jeez, someone got up on the wrong side of the bed. What do you want? You got the dead stripper case, didn't you? Lady hung up like our Lord and Saviour. Yeah, which is interesting because, uh, you wouldn't assign that case. What's that got to do with anything? Maybe nothing, maybe something. The only thing is, I heard you ask for the case. So? So, you're a lazy shit, Frank. So I was trying to wreck my brain to figure out why you'd want to take on another case. Any ideas? Fuck you. Place. I apologize. Hi. Hi, good evening, Jack. I promise he's an old friend of mine. Yes, sir. You're better, sir. He was just, about... just coming for dinner, if I may. Yeah, of course. Jack, would you do the dishes, honey? I know what you are. I want to help. I want to hurt these guys. You'll be best served to stay out of it. I don't give a shit about best served. I'm gonna kill these bastards. Fine. You may help. Jack, do you like him? He's got some good qualities. Do you have feelings for him? Do you?
Hello, Max. Why don't you join me? You seem shaken. I just got shot up on my way here by four of you. He's good. I will kill anyone you want killed, provided you pay. But I advise not to kill any more members of this gang yet. It will make peace harder to attain. a discount for. Well, that's it. That is it. Let's go get another. There are no further jobs at present. Oh, let's go get another one. I wouldn't be concerned. I think your father will provide plenty of business soon. Sure, Carl. So, is it looking a little bold? Yeah, legal. Lights out. You might want to get that fixed. It's a yellow ticket waiting to happen. Back off. All right, man. the police officer. Bad moves. Oh, believe me, Jax. This is the tip of the iceberg. It's all downhill Yogi. Relax. Relax. It's very impressive, Mr. What exactly do I call you? You can call me the Marquis de Sade if you wish. The Marquis. I'm very macabre. Okay, Mr. Desaad, let me ask you something. Why are you doing this to me? I'm simply doing my job. It's nothing personal. Well, it's starting to look a little personal to me. What if you worked for me? I'm not short of cash. I understand. But I'm currently engaged in a separate job. Oh, yes. To make me leave Max Clifford's shitty little itty bitty titty club alone. Well, then I acquiesce. It means I agree. I swear, I swear, neither I nor my men shall enter that particular club ever again. We shall not extort nor harm Max Clifford or any of his staff. Cross my heart. Happy? 
So, now you are free to work for me. And the target? Lana Clifford. 10,000. Agreed. When it's done, you'll do it soon. I've never not fulfilled the contract. You have a truly excellent work ethic. Hmm. I'm going to need a new right hand man. And some cleaning. It will take time. How much time? How long must you dance a sensual tango to get the woman of your most passionate dreams? It will be done. I've got some new jobs for you in the meantime. It's time to drum up some new business. Can you ever share a fucking dead of cheaper brand? I'm running a nightclub. I'm a fucking supermarket. Yay, Max! I believe the congratulations are in order. What do you want? I would like a dirty, great, stinking whore of a martini. Stop it, chicken monkey. I just came by to have a friendly chat. I would never dream of reneging on our newfound truce. What truce? The truce. The truce. The fucking truce I made with your man, the Marquis de Sade. Who? You. Don't know anything about it, do you? That is interesting. I made a truce. With the, the beige fellow, the Marquis de Sade. Not to come up in here and, you know, from Crawl's bar and smash it up. <laughs> Max, who is that girl? That's a new part. Good day, Max. I hope you enjoy the truce. Fiorentino? Yeah, why? I'm just curious. No sign of him yet. He's presumed dead. Hell of a thing. Hell of a indeed. Hello, Tiffany. What do you want? What? I want to talk to my daughter. You want to talk to your daughter? 
19 years after the fact, you want to talk to your daughter. I've made mistakes, and I acknowledge that. But this... This is a mistake. This is a very bad idea. You want to talk about bad ideas? This, is this really what you want? To shake your tits for a living? Yeah, well, I'm good at it, so butt out. I didn't ask if you were good at it. I asked if this is what you wanted! Bullshit. You know what else is bullshit? What's up? Kind of strip joint doesn't serve champagne. Well, I'll have to change it then. Oh, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Do you really want to run this joint? Yeah. Okay. Jack Clifford? Yeah. Need to have a word? looking into the disappearance of one of our detectives, Detective Fiorentino. I believe you spoke with him last week. Do you know anything that might help me? Uh, not really. Do you know anything about anything? Then I guess we're done here. That's it? Shit, Jack. I didn't have a choice, all right? What do I do? Why didn't you tell the cops? No, 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 no way. I just need to get rid of this. I think we know someone who could help. Sloppy work. What do I do? It is a beautiful night, yes? Yeah. Like your mother. Yeah. Sorry, what? Your mother, she's a very beautiful woman. As is your friend Tiffany. Yeah, I was meaning to ask you. We are close friends. Very close. Do you like her? Yes? Yeah, I do. Wait, what exactly does very close mean? If you like this girl, Jack, you must pursue her. You must pursue her wholeheartedly. Do you understand? I made a mistake of letting go a long time ago. I regret it with everything I have. You want to learn my craft? Fine. Anyway, it's cold. Let's go. I have a day to keep. So now what? Exactly. Hello, sir. I think you dropped something. What? Your bullets. 
she pull it? That was terrible. What would you have said? I don't know, like literally anything else. Whatever. <laughs> I thought you were helping. You said you'd teach me. Nothing about me helping. You are the master of your own destiny. Listen to your inner voice and disturb. Asked to meet. Yes. What can I do for you, Max? You take on any job if the money's there, right? Well, I've got a job for you. Who is the contract? Unforeseen request. She's cheating on me. I find this difficult to believe. I don't know who with, but I know she is. I thought maybe you might know. I know nothing about your wife's infidelities, Max. I know you used to love her. So I'm offering double the fee, double the fee. Do it? Yes. I've got the money. It's not like I'm sure right now the club's booming. Pay me after. Considering the way I left things last time, it's quite understandable. Having fun with our friend, are you? Smells like sex and regret in here. Tiffany, how could you do this to me? My own daughter dancing in some sleazy strip joint. Sleeping with some low-rent hitman. Flirting with Max Clifford's whelp of a boy. You could have told me you were coming. Believe it or not, I only want what's best for you. What's best for me? I, uh... I know you think that... I didn't want you, but nothing could be further from the truth. I just, I just want to be in your life somehow, sweetheart. Please. Please let me make up for being a shitty dad. You need to leave. Is that really what you want? Is it? Yes. Really? You need to go! Is this really yes. what you want? Yes! Nothing but a fucking whore like your mother. <gasps> Tiffany, stop! Uh, Tiffany! Get Tiffany! Me. Tiffany, Fuck stop! You. Stop! <laughs>
We're still out of home. There's a lot in these files. I mean, a lot. So... So, that thug, Yogi, he's been tearing out this town since, well, forever, right? Every time his name turns up on something, Fiorentino or one of his lot gets the case. And then what? It all goes away. He just money talks. But I just don't think Frank was as stupid as he looked. He's going to have something on him just in case. Something big. I just have to find it. Try not to kill yourself, right? Mm. I must have time. I don't have any time. This needs to end now. I need to hit Max Clifford hard enough so that he pays attention to me. Very well. I shall complete the contract within 24 hours. One more thing. The boy dies too. And by the way, this is Fitz. Fitz. This is the Marquis de Sarah. Nice to meet you. I don't pay you to talk. It was very hard to find. Please try not to kill him. There's something you should know. Yogi has put a contract for your mother and for you. You're gonna kill me. A job is a job. And I've never broken a contract. Scared me all night, Max. Fine. I know what you've been doing. What I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I've been pushed around my whole life, Lana, my whole fucking life, but not now! No fucking way! But you need to calm down. Fuck you. You don't understand this, do you? Huh? I understand power. That's right. right, it's power! That is what you do not get! I don't need this. What are you gonna do, Lana? You gonna run away? Hey? Huh? You gonna run away? You gonna, you gonna become a single mum? Is that what you want? Because look how well it went last time for you. Okay, Max. I think you need me a lot more than I fucking need you. That's what I think. So I told you I
shouldn't have killed her. She was a special girl. I know. Just fucking kill me. Listen to me, okay? I didn't mean what I said. I didn't fucking mean it. Please just... Just listen to me, man. All right? I fucking love you. I love you more than anything. Okay? You're the only one. You're the only one. And it is fucking over. It is over, Lana. It's, it's all over. You know I can change. I'm so happy, Paul. Yeah, please. Just give me, give me a chance. Just one more chance. I swear I can make this right. I swear to you. I swear I can make it right. Please. I'm sorry. I have a contract on you, Lana. I'm sorry. Ask your husband. You scum! What choice did I have? What choice? What fucking choice? And your son also. Oh, Jack. I didn't ask you to do that. That was a separate contract. Oh, you did it. You did it. You did it. Oh, you bastard. Do it. Do it! No. What do you mean, no? I cannot. Don't come. Get on your knees. It's going to be a bumpy night. Oh. Well, hello, Clarice. Hello, D. Branford. This is a pleasant surprise. Is it? Fuck you, kid. Time for that, Yogi. What a pity. You've got nothing. Assault at best. 
We had an anonymous tip off this morning. Found your daughter's body at the bottom of the cliff. Your fingerprints were all over it. We also found the remains of Detective Fiorentino there and six other bodies. You're going down. Well, wouldn't be the first time. No, it won't be the last time either. Expects not where you're heading. What now, then, Mum? Something better, Jack. Something better. What do you think tips off the cops? Who knows? Classy Jack? Yes, ma'am. Just remember, a good cop's never far away.
ऑफ जायस